uh oh, uh oh. Guys, I ain't even got my baits out yet and I've got a fish on right here. And it feels like a good one too, man. It feels like a good one. In a skipjack body section. I was about to get my last line cast out and this one took off. Y'all, I'm in the same spot. I ain't filmed an intro or nothing. I'm in the same spot I was in the last video. I had a whopper eat a small blue cat, three, four pound blue cat that I had hooked and was reeling in. And so I said, I'm coming right back out here today. Now that video was filmed on Thursday and today's Monday when I'm filming this video. And this is a good fish right here, y'all. But there's been a big change out here over the weekend. TVA has dropped the water level a few feet. So wasn't sure how that was going to affect things today. But I thought, you know, we're going to try it and see. Conditions uh, could affect things, but I'm going to get out here. The time of year is right. So we're going to try it. So I loaded up on bait this weekend. Got some big gizzard shad. I've got some skipjack crappie. And so I'm putting out a variety. I've got, this was a skipjack body section here. I've got a skipjack head and a gizzard shad head out. And I've got a crappie head I'm about to throw out. But this is a, this feels like a good fish. It's a, I don't know, 7.15, 7.30 right now. It took me a little longer to get out here this morning just because of the water drop. I, the creek I launched in was a little bit shallower than usual. So I, normally I just drop my motor in and go on the kayak here. But today I had to paddle about a quarter mile to make it out to water deep enough to drop the motor down. And then once I got out to the main channel, the flat that I normally cut across to get up here, I had to uh, go around it because it was too shallow there too. So lost a little bit of time this morning, but we're going to try to make up for it. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's a good fish to start the day, y'all. Look at that. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good one. Here's what I want to do though. Before we land him, I want to get him up here and just make sure he's hooked good. And then I'm going to set this rod in the rod holder and we're going to cast that other bait out and get it out there soaking. Let me just make sure this feller's hooked good though. We don't want to lose him while we're piddling. I think he's okay. Goodness, he's still got some fight in him, man. Big fish plus the amount of current flow we've got right now it's still over a mile an hour okay let me just let me just get this bait out there all right there goes that crappie head okay now let's put all my bait up here because i was just getting just getting baited up I love it when that happens. Yeah, buddy. You're one of the fish I was looking for today, mister. Come here. Come here, let me see you. Well, maybe he ain't hooked as good as I thought, y'all. He's on the bottom mouth there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, get on up in here now. That's a good fish, man. That's a tank to start the day. That is a tank to start my day. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> I've been waiting, y'all, like a kid waiting on Christmas. Every Christmas morning, Santa Claus is going to have him a present under the tree, and this spot, this time of year, is my Christmas because I know I can come out here mid to late March and stick some fish like this. The bite don't last long out here, 
not for this size of fish, but when it's on, it's on. And right now, it's on. Put him on the board. We'll measure him for you. A lot of him care about that kind of thing. Oh yeah. You know, that fish is over 40 inches right there. Over 40 inches. All right, let's hold him back up here again. Over 40 inches long and a heavy fish, man. He was a heck of a fight. That one, like I said, ate the uh, skipjack body section. I'm gonna throw another one right back out there. <laughs> this is fun, y'all. Let's let him go. I'll put him off on this side. It'll be easier. Don't get now. We'll do it again next year. All right, y'all. There's that. Another skipjack body section. Oh, I'm gonna check this rod here. I think we got one on it. He's, he's got on there. Oh, goodness now. Goodness now. That feels like a striper. Yeah, that's a striper right there, y'all. Look at him run out there. When they run like that, that ain't a cat, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's out there splashing around. That one ate a gizzard shad body section. I switched it out a little while ago. Put on a fresh piece. That head had been just down there getting munched on with a dink. So I put such big baits on today to limit my, it's not really limit my bites. You're still gonna get the same number of bites, but using larger baits is gonna limit the number of hookups. And I wanted to do that today. I wanted to prevent these dinks from hooking up as best I can to give my baits longer time to soak down there and allow the bigger fish to come along and be able to find them. If you're constantly reeling in dinks, then your baits aren't down there in the water where they need to be for the big fish. So I have missed out on catching several fish today that I probably would have caught had I been using smaller pieces. But I'll come out here today looking for a big one. And I already got one. I'm gonna get this little striper here right now. These stripers, man, they're strong. They are hard pulling fish. I love it. Goodness, man. I love it when they do that. You'll think you have them whooped, and then they just blast off again. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good in right there now. That's a pretty good striper. Let's see if I can pull him over here for you. Bring him down a little more here. He still ain't done, y'all. He still ain't ready yet. There he is. The old striped bass. Man, they fun. Let's land them. Uh-oh. Look right there. Hadn't got hit too. That's on the, uh, he's on there. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to set this striper here. Let him rest a minute. Cause we got one on this piece of crappie here. I took that head off, that crappie head off, and put on a body section. That's a pretty big section of crappie, too. Again, I'm using big baits today. I don't know what this fish is here. I ain't got a good feel for him yet. I believe it's a cat. Feels like he's rolling. Got that striper sitting over there. I'm, I like to land these stripers quick and get them gone because they don't do well if you stress them, but 
with our water temps still being as cold, cold as they are, he should be fine sitting there. Go ahead and work on this one. We'll get this one up here and get a look at him. And then we'll land that strapper. It's a little after 9 a.m. right now. I had a long lull. I caught that big blue right after getting on the water. And since then, it's been pretty much just dink taps. Them just shredding my baits down there until that striper and this fish come along. I've just been biding my time, just waiting. Seeing some bubbles. Oh, that's a flathead right there. The old flathead. Well, got the Tennessee trifecta again today, y'all. Blue flathead and striped bass. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this flathead back a second. We'll let him tucker himself out. And we'll go ahead and land the striper. Get him going. All right, y'all. Got us a striper in the hand and a flathead on the other line over there. This is actually, uh, I think this is probably a hybrid. People always bust my balls every time I call a hybrid a striper, but uh, here in Tennessee, they're all strippers. <laughs> we call them all the same thing. That's a good no, man. Throw him on the board right quick, get a quick length, and then we're going to get him going. So anyway, he'll swim off safe. That one there is a little over 33 inches. Last Thursday when I was out here, I got one that's 33 inches. That's a fat, fat, healthy fish, man. He's thick. All right, let's say goodbye. And he gone, just like that. All right, now, Let's work on this flathead over here and then we're going to rebate and try to do it all over again. The pliers here and we'll pop that hook out and take a good look at him. It ain't a bad flathead, buddy. It ain't a bad flathead. I don't think he's as big as the one I got last week, but still ain't a bad fish. <laughs> And they're fun. Let's put him on the board here too while we got it. Yeah, that one there's a little shorter than I got last week. He's gonna be a little over 34 inches. But he's still a good fish, man. He'll turn into a monster someday. You know how I know? Cause I'm gonna let him go. That's how I know. All right, buddy, next time. All right, y'all, man, that's that's a good time right there. I'm gonna rebait and we'll see if we can get to some more of us. What I was hoping to do out here today, get some quality over quantity. And using the bigger baits, like I said, it hasn't, hasn't limited the number of bites. I've been getting tapped all morning long here, but uh, the bigger baits have limited the hookups and allowed my baits to sit down there longer. So that these bigger fish like that striper and that flathead they got time to be able to find my baits when they come up through here or looking for a meal. So let's rebait. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put just a, basically a half a gizzard shad on that rod. I'm out of crappie. That uh, flathead had flung the body section of crappie I had off the hook and I only had that one crappie coming out here. So we're gonna use the gizzard shad here on this. We'll put that half of one on this and um, that striper had ate a body section of gizzard shad. So. We'll rebate the same thing on that rod. There's that bait there. A little bit smaller section of gizzard shad than I was using before. We'll try it out. That gizzard shad's getting hit. I think he may have it too. Yeah, he got it. That's that half a gizzard shad. We hooked up. I 
I don't think this is well we'll see when we get him up here I don't think this one's gonna be no whopper I think because that bait there was a little bit smaller it was one of the smaller gizzard chat I had and dinks that's been down there pecking this one's finally got hooked up yeah he's got hooked up I got half a mind to throw him down there and use him as bait I'm contemplating it right now as I speak I think I'm gonna show mercy on him though and let him go I got plenty of bait today we ain't gonna run out and if I did throw him down there as a live bait he would just be swimming through my other lines and tangling everything up so mercy this time maybe not next time though <laughs> all right y'all i'm getting ready to head out of here it's about noon right now and for the last two hours i haven't had really anything going on other than those dang ospreys that won't shut up but uh you know that's kind of how it was on thursday out here too i had a limited window of time there from dawn for the first couple hours where the bite was on and that's kind of how it was again today. I had dinks just constantly pecking my baits there early. But, you know, again, for the last two hours, nothing. The bites just shut off. But uh, I had a good morning out here overall, man. I got what I was hoping to find out here. I got that big blue first thing, then the flathead and the striper later on. So the bite was limited today. At least the fish I was catching was limited anyway. But the quality was top notch. And that's what I wanted today. I wanted some quality over quantity. And I was able to get it. So. I had a good time, but I'm going to go home and uh, rest up, and we'll see if we can't do it again soon, barring any kind of uh, stay-at-home shelter orders here in East Tennessee. Uh, I'll be back out here again soon. I know it's a very stressful time here in America and all over the world, and it's a lot of fear and panic going on, but uh, if you're able to get on the water and catch some fish, it's soothing to the soul, I'll tell you that, because out here... The fishing it's the same regardless of whatever else is going on out there in the real world so uh, I hope you're able to get outside and experience it but regardless of what you're able to do based on where you live I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy and I'm gonna try to do that keep myself the same so I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching